exclusivo temporário. Ó, oh, a telinha de start lá do Final Fantasy VII. Remaster. O jogo tá lindo, né, velho? Essa qualidade. A qualidade do mixer tá horrível. Agora tem que ser assim mesmo. Comecinho do jogo, né? Diferença, hein? Pena que va já vazaram a data de lançamento. Please welcome Yoshinori Kitase, producer, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Caraca, arrepia essa musiquinha do Final Fantasy. Oh, tá bem, eu vou fazer. É, 22年間の時を経て、あのキャラクターたちが非常に美しく、さらに魅力的になって帰ってきました。I'm very happy to be able to introduce this long beloved title once again. After 22 years, the familiar characters we love have returned while becoming more beautiful and captivating than ever before. え、今まで応援し続けてくださってるファンの皆さん、長年のサポートありがとうございます。え、大変お待たせいたしました。to our long-time fans, we thank you for your support and patience over these years, and we look forward to embarking on this journey together. え、フェイスブンのリメイクするにあたってファイナルファンタジー7のえ、ファイナルファンタジー7リメイクプロジェクトの最初の作品となる本作では ミッドガルのストーリーを広大にかつ緻密に語っております。またゲームデザインも今作用に最適化しておりまして、ブルーレイ2枚組相当のボリュームを見込んでおります。え、1本の独立したゲームとして十分期待に応える作品になっております。
Cloud attacks, dodges, and blocks all in real time. His standard attacks do some damage, but they barely scratch the surface of Cloud's true potential. Succeeding on the battlefield requires much more than just hacking and slashing. Cloud needs to be tactical. He needs A, T, B. Two ATB bars are displayed in the lower right. These fill up slowly over time, but fill much faster as Cloud lands standard attacks. Eita, o Mixer tá zoado, hein? Once an ATB bar is full, you can enter tactical mode, where time slows to a crawl and you have the opportunity to choose actions from the com command menu. Katasi san, I've had the pleasure of seeing quite a bit of the game, but tactical mode never gets old for me. I could just sit here all day long and watch this beautiful slow motion action. I think the audience would like to see more. Isn't that right, everyone? <laughs> Fair enough. Good point, good point. <laughs> yeah. Well, once in tactical mode, you can choose to perform various abilities, such as Cloud's Braver attack. Using an item in battle will deplete an ATB charge, and if Cloud has the right material oh. equipped and enough MP, he can use ATB charges to cast spells. Of course, this being a remake, we're sure to see some familiar faces. Bahish. With the use of his iconic gun arm, Barrett is able to target enemies at a distance. Barrett's standard attacks generate ATB charges similar to Cloud, but his abilities are entirely <laughs> different. <laughs> Switching between characters in combat is done with a single button press, which makes o erro desse game é ser, vai, vai ser lançado Speaking em episódio. Party members, Kitasi san when are we going to see Tifa? Não sei de onde eles isso, cara. Maybe, maybe soon. Soon. All right. Characters will continue to fight even when you're not controlling them directly, but it's up to you to choose how and when ATB charges are used. You can maximize your effectiveness by switching between characters or issuing commands to characters with full ATB bars. Every enemy has a focus gauge that fills up as you do damage. When the gauge is full, the enemy becomes staggered, and you'll deal bonus damage. Tactical mode evokes the command selections from the original Final Fantasy VII and allows players to enjoy battle while taking the time to think strategically. For players who prefer fast-paced action, abilities and spells can be bound to shortcuts for immediate execution. Shortcuts make combat extremely dynamic, but the choice of using them is entirely up to you. Right, Katase-san? That's right. The game has been made so that you can choose how to play. I hope players get excited about this. Well, that's a brief introduction to combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake. And we look forward to showing you a whole lot more in the coming months. For now, let's see how Cloud and Barrett do against a more formidable foe. Red 13. O laboratório do Red 13. É o primeiro boss. Cadê o limit? Cadê o limit breaker?
E na bundinha. Caraca, velho, tá. Tá muito maneiro. Cara, tá absurdo, velho. Absurdo demais. Você frota. Please welcome Tetsuya Nomura, Director, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Sephiroth! Thank you for joining us, Nomura-san. It is an absolute honor to have you here. Katase-san, how do you feel working with Nomura-san once again on Final Fantasy VII Remake? はい、あの、カルタですね。原作の since the original Final Fantasy VII, I've worked with him on many titles, but it has been a while since we've actually had him work so heavily on a project like this, from the direction to character design to the story. And I'm really happy to see him working on this title with the same passion that he had 22 years ago. え、
So first and foremost, uh, we wanted to extend our gratitude to those who have been waiting so patiently and have been supporting us for such a long time until now. And also, um, we've taken a look at gameplay right now, and we fairly showed you、um, a good bit. でですね、えー、まあそういうわけなので、皆さんぜひ触れてみたいじゃないかなと思いましてですね、実際に、えー、触ってみたいですかね。And I was wondering, do you guys want to actually play the game? ということでですね、<笑>えー、明日から開催されます E3 のですね、スクエニックスブースの方で、えー、セブンリメイク、えー、プレイアブル出展していますので、ぜひ機会のある方は、えー、触れて。De novo. Alright, please take a look. Essa aqui é a versão estendida de um trailer que eles já tinham mostrado ontem. You have to live. You 
Março. Falta muito tempo. Nossa. Bacana a versão deluxe. A hard da Etona. Nossa. Caraca. Pior que eu já tive esse. Eu já tive um boneco parecido com esse. Só que o boneco que eu tinha era com o visual da moto original. It's the same for me. Ah, bro, hug. What a nice dude, man. It's the puppy. The puppy. We got a puppy. Daniel, come on, run. Do it, Daniel. No. Oh, this is gonna be the cliffhanger. Stop, Daniel. I said stop. Don't grab me. That was so intense. It's my power, not yours. What the? No, that's the ending, isn't it? This game is awesome. Comecei a jogar ainda porque não tem os episódios. From ages long ago, miasma has blanketed the world. Crystals keep the deadly miasma in check, but the crystal's power is not eternal. These are the chronicles of brave young adventurers who journey to protect their home. Oh, Final Fantasy Chronicles. These are the Crystal Chronicles. If we had no crystals, Miasma would consume us all. This game is from GameCube, right? Never did I imagine that it could be so bright. A remaster. In online multiplayer mode, caravan with friends wherever they may be. The adventure close at hand. The journey now unfolds on smartphones. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. This winter, embark on a new journey. PS4 and Switch, Xbox. They just don't launch anything. Journey begins. Top patch on the PC. This world is full of mysteries. Prepare yourself! I will not lose to you! Now the true lesson begins! The hunt is on. 
This is the beginning of your end. Conjure lightning. This will settle things. My way protects those in need. Now I feel the deal. Let's end this, shall we? My brand, I'll strike you down. I'm ready for you. This is our chance. Octopath Travel. Yeah, nice team. Esse é o topete no Xbox, pô. Geração Remaster that worships destruction has outlawed the building, cooking and creation of all things and captured the builders. All hope seems to be lost until you, a young apprentice builder, manages to escape the clutches of evil. Washed up on the deserted shores of the Isle of Awakening and with the help of your spirited and mysterious companion, Malroth, it is up to you to doff your mallet and club Unravel the riddles of this land and defeat the hateful children of Harkon. Travel the diverse islands and discover your true potential as a master builder. There is a land of adventure with many islands offering unlimited building combinations. You will have to master new crafting skills on each island with more to do and even more to create. Minecraft to do a quest. Everything in Dragon Quest Builders 2 is much, much bigger! Build huge structures in a larger world with more variety and options than ever before. And with a little help from the eager islanders. The world is humongous and you'll need your wits about you to get around. Run across open fields and explore ruins, treacherous mines and spectacular castles. Dive into the watery depths to discover hidden treasures. Climb the highest mountains to catch the sunset. And glide home to rest up for your next day of adventure. But beware. Monsters roam this land and will need to be dispatched with cunning composure. Luckily, accompanying you on your quest is the enigmatic Malroth. An aggressive amnesiac with a fondness for fighting foes. Use powerful attacks on the battlefield to take down monstrous beasts. Work together with your villagers to till soil, plant seeds and raise a multitude of crops. Be sure to customize the way you build your fields to support the kind of crops you're growing. Harvest anything from the humble cabbage and wheat to tantalizingly tasty tomatoes. Big projects require big, big help. You and three friends can team up online to build anything you can imagine. Let your creativity run wild! The only limit is your imagination. So call on your friends and build your fate together! The 
road you build is paved with peril, young builder. Only you can defeat the children of Hargon. Bring an end to destruction and save the world in Dragon Quest Builders 2! Dragon Quest 11. Novish, the luminary is the root of all evil and will bring misery to our realm. Ah, pode jogar ele com visual clássico ou novo. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. Definitive Edition. Este é horroroso. Esse Black Default é horroroso. Nossa! Um dos piores jogos da história. Free Effect Sedna. Interessante. O jogo de corrida da Square Enix. Hello everyone, this is Carolina. Alberto and Carlos. E trava o mixer de novo. We're a family of motorsport fans from Mexico, and we're the founders of Original Fire Games. Over the last few decades, we have seen a fast... Mixer tá brabo hoje, hein? in racing games and nowadays you can drive almost any type of car on amazing recreations of the best tracks in the world however we believe it's time to try something different we want to do this by reviving a style that pioneered new racing games decades ago our game mixes top-down race kits a range of styles and eras of Transmissão do Nixon. Ah. Carrinho. Nossa, joguinho de corrida com visão isométrica horroroso. Tá horrível. A transmissão do Mixer tá horrível. Circuit Superstars. Joguinho parece legal, hein? Battalion 1944 recaptures the core of classic competitive first person shooters. You'll need to quickly coordinate strategies with your team on the fly. Whilst keeping your movement nimble, 
and your aim precise if you hope to beat out the competition. There are multiple game modes for you and your team to dive into. Test your skills in domination, capture the flag, or team deathmatch, and perfect your tactics in the highly competitive wartime game mode. Face it, competitive toolset is fully integrated into the game, bringing world-renowned competitive matchmaking, 1v1s, tournaments, rankings, and leaderboards. Kill enemies, win matches, and rank up to demonstrate your Battalion 1944 prowess and unlock visual customization rewards. Ah, uh, double kill. Each season will bring challenges for you to complete and medals to unlock. Whilst tracking your in-game accomplishments and providing you with an easy way to compare them against your friends by in-game leaderboards. Halt the Axis Offensive in their tracks with the Rapid Fire PPSH or take fire with Pixel Precision with the Mosin Nagant and a whole host of new weapons just as deadly as their owners. With a range of environments to test your skills in and a variety of weapons at your disposal, play as a team and compete to be top of the leaderboards. Esse jogo ele tem mais de Segunda Guerra do que o BF5. Available now on Steam. Queria isso no videogame. Enix Music. É por isso que no Spotify apareceu tanta música do Final Fantasy nos últimos dias, né? Please welcome Naoki Yoshida, producer and director, Final Fantasy XIV Online. Hi guys! My name is Naoki Yoshida, producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV. Eh, 今日はですね
、すみません、短い時間ですが、えー、僕からはいよいよこの7月2日発売となる「ファイナルファンタジー14」拡張パッケージ第3弾「漆黒のヴィランズ」の紹介をさせていただきます。So we'd like to take a little bit of your time to show off、um, Shadowbringers Final Fantasy XIV's third expansion pack, which is releasing on July the 2nd. Uh, uh, 有料会員数も過去最高を、えー、更新することができました、えー、これらはすべて世界中のプレイヤー光の戦士の皆さんのおかげですこの場を借りて改めてお礼申し上げます It's been six years since the release of A Realm Reborn in 2013 and over the years we have surpassed 16 million total registered users plus we have reached the highest number of active subscribers in history、uh, in its history before the launch of Shadowbringers this is all thanks to our players our warriors of light えー、このシャドーブリンガーズではですね、シャドーブリンガーズなっせ、新作アートラーバーミックス。おりょ、ミックス、えー、トラボー。ano passado eu prometi a mim mesmo que eu não ia assistir as conferências no mix. Mesmo assim eu dei a chance. Mas... A conferência da Bethesda estava com a qualidade horrorosa e agora da, a da Square Enix está bem zoada também. ファイナルファンタジー7リメイクの発売2020年3月3日までの間漆黒のヴィランズをお楽しみください We are excited to bring Shadowbringers as the latest installment in the Final Fantasy franchise for our fans to enjoy at least until 2020 March 3rd when Final Fantasy 7 remake comes out えー、それではいよいよ7月2日、えー、ローンチとなりますがこの場で世界初公開となるなので私はこの場で世界初公開となるので私はこの場で世界初公開となるので私はこの場で世界初公開となるので私はこの場で世界初公開となるので私はこの場で世界初公開となるので私はこの場で世界初公開となるので In that chaotic no man's land between realms, time and space war and blend in unexpected ways. <risos> fala aí, Brazuca. Não, fala, não faz isso comigo, não, hein? Essa do jogo de 51 reais já vai virar uma piada, uma piada nossa aí. The eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place, born of the self same ether relinquished by its predecessor. <laughs> Era só, só queria ver o Final Fantasy mesmo. Eles podem fazer o jogo do ovo frito agora. Pode fazer jogo de submarino que voa. Eu tô cagando. Eu só, só queria ver o Final Fantasy. Tô feliz. Lança aí, Square. A Square pode lançar futebol. Futebol da Square com os personagens do Final Fantasy. Eu tô cagando. Manda, manda aí. Ah, jogo de japonês aí no rabo.
Fala aí, Jorgelis. Eu vou comprar o Days Gone nessa promoção que tá rolando aí. É normal. Fala aí, Luiz. A questão do Strike é normal. Acontece. O problema... O problema é que foram vários canais que tomaram strike, né? Vários. Final Fantasy XIV estava funcionando ainda. Cara. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard, but it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. But they are gods after a fashion, yes. The eldest and most powerful of primals. Os caras são muito fanáticos, velho. É travada monstra. Só não consegui pegar a data. Eu tô bugado. Cara, eu tô muito cagado de fome. <risos> cagado? Cagado de fome? Eles podiam relançar o Super Mario RPG, velho. Pro Switch. Hum. Aí 
Aí foram longe demais, eu não sei nem o que, que é isso. Assim, Saga 3 sai para Xbox, mas o outro. Eu não conheço nenhum desses aí, não. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Enjoyed by fans the world over, has surpassed 39 million downloads. Now, Square Enix proudly presents the international reveal of a new title born from the FFBE universe. War of the Visions, Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius. These two titles, FFBE and War of the Visions, will be the pillars of the growing world of Lapis. This is the story of Ardera, a continent of Lapis. A tiny spark here ignites the flames that would embroil the entire continent in conflict. It's like well, John Travolta in *Pulp Fiction*. A conflict later spoken of as the War of the Visions. Eu vou continuar desenhando pirocas aqui no meu caderno. Leonis, vou desenhar um pênis bem veiudo. Possesses the power of visions as well as twin princes. Porra, de jogo é esse? Horn, the great western kingdom, governed by a policy of peace and its brave and wise king. Fenis, where the king of the savages has organized the barbarian tribes into Ardera's mightiest militant state. Wesset. The Great Eastern Kingdom, over which reigns its icy despot. Crystal Sanctum, a religious city-state with believers throughout Ardra, founded by one who claims to be God. Each burden with its own dignity, thus is the curtain drawn on a struggle in which the fate of nations rests. is for one's homeland. War of the Visions, Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius. Now in development. Tá bom, né, gente? Eu tô querendo dormir já. Nossa, Gears of War Judgment não é motivo de comemorar não, gente. Bullet Storm sim, mas o Gears of War Judgment não é pra botar no portfólio, não. <risos> Me lembre que ano que vem não assisti a, as conferências pelo Mixer, a não ser a conferência da Microsoft, né? Se tiver a conferência da Microsoft, porque o Mixer é uma merda. Interessante, hein? É um shooter com magias.
Please welcome Sebastian Wojciechowski, Studio Head, People Can Fly. Pelo menos um que vem pro Xbox, né? All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sebastian Wojciechowski, Studio Head of People Can Fly, the studio behind Bulletstorm and Peace Board Judgment. <laughs> Yeah, any Bulletstorm no. fans? Não Get fala out. isso, cara. All right. Fala baixo. Wow, well, let me tell you, it feels great to be here and feels amazing. O Gears of War já de meter o rio. Outriders. <laughs> I'd like to thank the team at People Can Fly. You guys are amazing, and I know that some of you are watching this live, even though it's 4 a.m. in the morning in Poland. So, make a noise for them, please. Thank you, thank you. And of course, Square Enix for the help and support as we work together on this exciting new IP. You know, over the past few years, People Can Fly has grown to over 200 developers and four studios across Poland, the UK, and most recently, the US, to bring you what is our most ambitious shooter to date. To present more, <laughs> to present more, of our vision, I would like to take this moment to introduce a short video from our game director, Bartik Mita. So thanks a lot. More on Outriders this winter. Thank you. Shooters are in our DNA. It's our passion, and it's what we do. Outriders draws on all our experience from all our previous titles. It's a game we wanted to make for a very long time. We describe Outriders as a dark, modern shooter built with traditional values. By that, I mean we are creating an experience with a strong story that you can enjoy with your friends or on your own. We want to tell a complete story. We are confident we are building a shooter with a powerful gunplay, incredible weaponry, and a hostile new world we want to spend many hours in. It's it's a game we've had in our heads ever since People Can Fly left Epic Games. Outriders is a one-two or three-player drop-in, drop-out co-op shooter. In our game, you will create your own Outrider and journey across the hostile planet of Enoch in search of the source of a mysterious signal. It's it's a pretty dark and unforgiving world, and yes, there is a lot more depth to the game, but. I can't say it much more right now. Reincarnation is the foundation of our way of life. We celebrate the lives we've been given and offer up prayers for the next. It is grief of death which shackles the living and causes the dead to stray. Indeed, there is no greater affront to reincarnation. So we turn our grief to joy as we send off the dead. But the souls of those who held back their tears in life still need salvation in death. A duty that falls to the Watchers. 
The Watchers sever the bonds that tie the lost to this world and send them off to the next. They navigate the emotions of the living and the dead. They prize life above all else. This is the story of one watcher. Oninaki. Pô, demorou pra sair, hein? Pô, tem que vir pro Xbox, pelo amor de Deus, gente. Não, não, é, não digam que é só pro Playstation, não, pelo amor de Deus. Cara, Final Fantasy VIII é muito bom. <risos> Esse ano ainda? Crystal Dynamics. Só, só não pode ser Lego, né? Others 
call them murderers. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Well, we all lost something that day. But that's not how this story ends. Please welcome Sean Eskai, Creative Director, Crystal Dynamics, and Bill Roseman, Vice President and Creative Director, Marvel Games. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Tem potencial aí para ser um jogo interessante, yeah. né? Thank you, thank you everyone. We are incredibly excited mais, to reveal Marvel's Avengers. Tô mais animado com o Final Fantasy VIII. A few years ago, Crystal Dynamics and Marvel began collaborating on an original Avengers game. One that combined epic action adventure with cinematic storytelling. A game where we as players can experience in both single player and co-op what it's like to be Earth's mightiest heroes. Do I have any true believers in the house? <coughs> yes! Awesome. Because you will instantly recognize your favorite superheroes and villains, but you'll also see that they're unique to this game, as this is Crystal's interpretation of these iconic characters. Our story begins at A-Day. San Francisco celebrates the opening of the Avengers West Coast headquarters and the team's custom helicarrier. O potencial desse game é por ele, por ele estar sendo energy. feito pela Crystal Dynamics However, e pela Eidos. When an attempt to steal this new technology results in massive destruction. Blamed for the tragedy, the Avengers are outlawed and our heroes disband. Five years later, a horrific evil threatens the world. And our only hope is to reassemble Earth's mightiest heroes. You'll play as your favorite Avengers in an all new original story, showcasing authentic Marvel heroism and humanity. It's about losing what matters to you most é isso and aí, fighting Mott. to get it back. Yeah! Yeah! Most importantly, this is a story about self-acceptance in the face of adversity, about embracing our individual powers and learning that together we are mighty. <laughs> You'll lead the team as a legendary super soldier, Captain America. You'll call down the lightning as the Asgardian god of thunder, Thor. <laughs> Esse Thor aí parece o Big Lebowski. Banner, by the Hulk. O Hulk está parecendo o Diguinho Coruja. Black Widow. Black Widow. E, finalmente, você vai through the sky as como charismatic Tony Stark. Known to the wider world as the Armored Iron Man. Han Kai is dead. Bring this incredible story to life. We've assembled an all-star cast. I'll let them introduce themselves. So here we are, Avengers assembled. 
Who are you people again? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Troy Baker, and I play Bruce Banner. Hi, I'm Jeff Shine, and I play Captain America. Hi, I'm Travis Willingham, and I play Thor. Hi, I'm Laura Bailey, and I'm playing Black Widow. Hi, I'm Nolan North, and I play Tony Stark. There's certain characters I don't think you ever have to be uh, talked into. <laughs> yeah. You know, so we'd like to have you play Tony Stark Iron Man. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, everybody always portrays him as this super confident character. Han Kai. I think it's a mess for, for him. I think he's a, one of the most vulnerable guys. I think Bruce is just such a cool character. A lot of people are, are really quick to, to bring out the big green, but I think that that Bruce is a super complex character. He's fun, and I've never played him before. What is very relatable about Natasha is she's extremely capable, but she's at the core. She's human she's what? surrounded by all of this larger than life stuff and she has to step up to it I, I feel like Thor got really interesting in the last like 10 or 15 years from for me I, I like where he's kind of landed in the, the public eye you know one of the things I think is cool about cap is I never feel like he uh, he necessarily wants to be a leader he accepts that he is I feel like sometimes the best leaders are the ones who don't necessarily want to be but they're right for the job. Having an original story to tell as well, what they've done at Crystal Dynamics is great, so I think everybody's gonna be pretty stoked. The Avengers are at their best when they are all together, but the chemistry is, <laughs> do not shake. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us. Can't wait for you to be able to play the game, but right now, you don't have to wait for some exclusive content. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check It was a science? heist, Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. We failed him. We failed him. Please welcome Scott Amos, head of studio, and Megan Marie, senior Amos. community and social media manager, Crystal Dynamics. Hello, E3. <laughs> you've just <laughs> you've just seen a high level view of the cinematic and character driven campaign of Marvel's Avengers but launch is only the beginning of this adventure Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years with exciting new content released at a regular basis like the Avengers you and your friends are stronger together You'll assemble into teams of up to four players online where you can master extraordinary abilities, where you can customize a growing roster of heroes and defend the Earth from ever escalating threats. Oh yes, oh yes. And to make sure everyone comes on this journey with us, we're incredibly thrilled to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be delivered at no additional cost. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so our promise to the community is that we won't have random loot boxes or pay-to-win scenarios. Yeah. This game represents a collaboration across Crystal Dynamics, Marvel Games, I know you're out here. <laughs> IDOS Montreal, these guys are here. Yeah. Nixie Software, yeah. our new Crystal Northwest studio, yeah. and everyone at Square Enix. So our game is about embracing your powers and living your superhero dreams. We have an exclusive gameplay demo in our booth that will show you more of the core campaign its original story, and our superheroes in action. 
So, Marvel's Avengers will release worldwide on PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, and PC. We got you covered. <laughs> and we're excited to be partnering with PlayStation to bring some awesome surprises to the PlayStation audience. Including early beta access and unique benefits that we'll be revealing in the future. But before we go, we have one final glimpse into our world, including when you'll get to play this game. <laughs> this is what's next for the Avengers. Thank you, true believers. Damn it. Progress, Hank. I have a plan, but it's risky. Hank, that doesn't look ready. Come on, Tony, live a little. Unbelievable. It worked. It's sort of cute when they're small. Ah, I didn't doubt you for a second, Hank. Hank being exclusive to Play 4. 15 de maio. Bastante coisa, né? Algumas coisas meio bizarras. Uma conferência boa, cara. Apresentaram bem os medalhões. Não tenho o que reclamar, né? Alguns joguinhos japoneses ali que eu né, ignorei. O Final Fantasy Remake tá. Final Fantasy VII Remake tá sensacional. Eu queria ver o Octopath Traveler no Xbox, mas eu acho muito difícil. Vai sair pra PC. Last Remnant Remaster. Já está disponível hoje no Switch. Uh, esse Batalion, achei legal. Queria ver ele no, nos consoles, mas eu acho só na Steam por enquanto. O Daylight 2 deu pau lá no Mixer, não deu pra ver. Deve, mas foi CG, né? Uh, gostei muito de ver o Final Fantasy VIII. Não sei porque demorou tanto pra, pra fazer o remaster do Final Fantasy VIII. E o jogo do, dos Avengers. Muita gente reclamando aí do visual dos Avengers é que não segue a linha do filme, né? Eles esperaram, esperaram acabar o fi, os filmes, né? Dos Vingadores, para fazer um jogo com uma história própria, né? Com personagens próprios, né? A aparência dos personagens é, do jeito deles ali. Eu achei interessante, cara. A jogatina do, do Hulk, principalmente, ali. Achei bem legal. Vamos ver, né? A Crystal Dynamics... É bem difícil de errar a mão. Vide os últimos Tomb Raiders. Eu acho que vai ser um jogo interessante. E tá bem próximo, né? No começo do ano que vem. Né? Na metade do ano que vem, né? Então, mais ou menos uns 10, 11 meses aí pra nós botarmos a mão nesse jogo dos Vingadores. Eu gostei. A conferência da Square Enix foi mais coesa. Ela foi mais certinha, né? Não teve... Gostei, cara. Para o que a Square Enix tem a oferecer, eles souberam vender ali o. Né? Começaram muito bem, aí foram, né? BBB, depois fechar e fecharam muito bem com Final Fantasy VIII e Vingadores. Então souberam trabalhar ao contrário da Microsoft, por exemplo. Começou, começou meio bamba, aí tentou terminar bem, meio que balançando. Tem que começar a conferência lá em cima, né, cara? É igual um show de rock, né? Você não pode começar um show de rock. A banda não pode começar um show com a, a, uma música fraca. Ou uma música que ninguém conhece. Tem que começar com um clássico. Né? Ou uma música né? porrada. Uma porrada logo. Tomar uma porrada, duas porradas e depois vai amenizando. 
Aí vem aquela música mais calma e vai subindo e depois encerra com o clássico. Né? Eu, eu acredito que a Square Enix soube aproveitar aí a, a E3. Até agora a melhor conferência, sem sobra de dúvidas, de toda a E3. Agora vamos ver amanhã, né? Amanhã tem Nintendo, uma da tarde. Eu conto com a presença de vocês aqui, né? Infelizmente tomei strike no YouTube. Eu não, não sei se até amanhã vão reverter aí. Muito, muitos canais é o Combo Infinito o menino menino Natan até o canal do do Ed que eu também não, não vou com a cara né mas também não vai com a minha cara eu não vou com a cara dele né? que é é discípulo de do gordo musical mas até o canal do Ed aí tomou tomou strike também então vamos ver aí o que que o YouTube vai fazer e enfim Valeu pela companhia, pessoal. Vou continuar ao vivo aqui no StreamCraft. Vou fazer alguns sorteios aqui para encerrar o segundo dia de E3. Mas eu quero agradecer, fazer um agradecimento especial a todo mundo que acompanhou a live pelo Mixer. Valeu demais aí a todo mundo que se inscreveu. E quem quiser continuar acompanhando, cola lá no StreamCraft. Quem não sabe, né? Novamente, blá, blá, blá. Né? Quem não sabe me encontrar no StreamCraft, é streamcraft.com. Procura... Arnaldo DK, aproveita para se inscrever aqui no canal. Enfim, dá essa força aí. Eu vou continuar ao vivo. Geralmente as lives do canal começam primeiro no StreamCraft, depois eu abro para os outros canais. Então você vê os bastidores ali, os bastidores do DK Pistola. É, é uma grande chance de você me ver pelado também no StreamCraft, né? Porque como eu, tô gra eu gravo meio que tudo, então você vê os bastidores. Ontem na live do, do Xbox eu dei uma eu dei uma roçada no ar aqui e tal, né? Fiz uma dancinha ali, enfim. Então você consegue ver os, os bastidores. Eu vou sortear para vocês aí alguns jogos no StreamCraft. De qualquer forma, eu agradeço o pessoal que acompanhou no Mixer e nas outras plataformas. Beleza? Tô encerrando por aqui. Fico, continuo ao vivo no StreamCraft. Um grande abraço. Até amanhã. Nintendo. Torcendo muito para um novo F0. Mas valeu, pessoal. Pessoal que tá no Twitch aí, obrigado pela presença. 50 pessoas no Twitch. Normalmente eu não tenho tantas pessoas assim. Obrigado pela companhia aí. Vou continuar ao vivo no StreamCraft. Quem quiser colar lá, 